Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft M365 Copilot to interact with Microsoft Excel. M365 Copilot is a set of tools that allows you to use a natural language, such as English, to perform tasks inside of your application. There's been new features added to Excel. I'm going to show them to you right now. In order to use this, it's worth noting that you have to have auto save turned on, which means you have to have this in stored in OneDrive. And you also have to have the Copilot service. And if you do, then here on the home ribbon, you'll see this Copilot button right here. And this gives an interface right here where I can just type in English language questions or instructions. And this becomes the interface for interacting with Excel, just like typing in formulas and text and numbers up here. It is another interface. So the one I want to show you, this one, this is an example spreadsheet that I found on the internet. It is the 2022 Argentina World Cup team. And for each one of these players, I have information about their goals and assists, dribbles, interceptions, tackles, total duels per 90 minutes. And maybe I want to do something like conditional formatting. So one thing I could do is here in this Copilot blade, I can type in something like highlight every player name if the dribble count is higher than either the interceptions or the tackles so i've got a column here for dribbles per 90 minutes i've got interceptions per minus i've got tackles per 90 minutes so i say if this number is higher than either of these two in this case 0.33 is not higher um, but in this case it is 1.45 is higher than one of those two numbers so this one i should highlight this column over here the player name so I'll come over here, I can click this button right here, or I can just press enter when I'm in that cell. It'll figure it out and it'll apply conditional formatting because that's how I do this. And so it tells you, first it tells you what it's going to do. And then when I click on apply, it'll actually do it. And you can see right here that it did, the ones that it highlighted, the player name, it did so based on the fact that Alexis has a dribble of 0.97, which is higher than interceptions per 90 minutes. Now, I could have done this myself if I knew that to do this, I have to go into conditional formatting, but it doesn't really fit these simple rules right here. I have to go down into new rule or manage rules. You can see that there's the formula that applied to conditional formatting, but it saved me the trouble of doing that. And even if I wanted to change it, I can go in and it'll get me partway there and at least give me a head start on this. The next demo I want to show is going to be a little bit more complex. and It'll take advantage of the fact that Excel supports Python. So yes, you can put numbers, text, and formulas into your spreadsheet, but you can also add code in Python to execute things that are a bit more complex. Well, a lot of us aren't that familiar with Python, so we could use a little bit of help. M365 Copilot can give us that help. This spreadsheet has, you'll see, a bunch of different rows of data, and each row contains a date, a region, a city, a category of product, the product itself, the quantity on hand on that date, the unit price at that time, and then an extended price. So for example, here we have on January 4 of 2022 in the East region, the city of Boston, we have some whole wheat crackers. What do we have? We have 87 of them. They're $3.49 a piece, so the piece, so they have a total value of 303. 0.63 and I can start to analyze this thing using Copilot. Once again, we have to have auto save on and we have to have Copilot. So I'll click this button here in the toolbar. And from here, I have a button that says advanced analysis. I'll grab that. And then if I click on start advanced analysis, notice what it does. It adds an extra worksheet to my workbook. And inside of that worksheet is a data frame that shows a preview of the data on which it intends to work. Now that I have this data, I can start asking intelligent questions or giving it instructions. So for example, I could say, show the monthly total value for each region over time. The price for each category will be aggregated by month and displayed in a line chart. So here you can see that there are multiple regions. There's East and West region. Uh, I want to aggregate by month. So for example, these two would just be summed together. And uh, I just want to see the total price for the month in the East region. But I don't want to just see it. I want to see it graphically. 
Let's go ahead and run that and see what it provides us. And here's a graphical representation. The data runs from January of 2022 to the end of 2023, about 24 months. And we've got East region in blue, West region in orange. So we've got a nice graphical representation of this data. Now I can take it a step further because this is all just Python code. If we look over here, I can actually see the code that was generated. And if I don't like this code, I can actually go here and tweak it and rerun it and make it exactly what the way that I want it to be. But this is a good starting point. I'm going to select this graphic here and I'll give us some more instructions. Now I want to use a little bit of artificial intelligence to say on the same chart, forecast each region's total value for the first six months of 2024. This only goes to the end of 2023. Let's do that. Now it's going to generate some more Python code. You can execute that code. And it's going to create another graph just like the one above it with some extra stuff on the end here. And it showed it as a dashed line. I didn't tell it to show it as a dashed line, but you can see that it's got a region here. If I wanted to, I could give it, maybe I find that a little bit hard to read. Uh, I don't like the fact that it shows east is blue for historical data, but green for the forecast data. I would prefer that it used the same colors and just made it both of them a dashed line. So let's give it a little bit more instruction. Explicitly label the forecasted data on the chart. For each region, use the same color for the actual and the forecasted lines. Make the forecasted lines four times as thick and dashed. So they make them stand out a little bit more. It, then it'll generate some code. It'll run that code and it'll recreate this graph with the additional instructions that I've just given it. And there we go. So now I've got thicker lines here. This makes sense. East solid line for East historical data, dashed blue line for East uh, projected data, and so on. Before I leave you, I want to give credit to where this data came from. The soccer data came from exceldemy.com, that URL, and the food inventory data came from contextures.com. I did modify it a little bit, but they gave me a good starting point for the data. In this video, I showed you how to use M365 Copilot to interact with Microsoft Excel using a natural language like English. This is David. Thank you for watching.